Well official. Doors 101. In this video, you will learn everything you need to know about doors. Let's begin by discussing dimensions of a standard door. The height of a door will be 80 inches, while the width will vary in size. Exterior doors will typically be 36 inches wide, and interior doors will typically be between 28 and 32 inches wide. The International Building Code states that a door handle will be between 34 and 48 inches above the finished floor. Doors are made of wood, fiberglass, or metal. Fiberglass doors are a good option for exterior doors. Metal doors are typically found in commercial properties rather than residential, and can be both exterior and interior. Doors made of wood, can be solid wood, solid core, or hollow core. Only solid wood doors can be used for exterior, and they can be used for interior as well. Solid core doors have a wood veneer, and contain engineered wood inside, like MDF. Most interior doors are hollow core, with the inside of the door, made of paperboard or plastic. A hollow core door only has a 12-inch section of engineered wood, installed inside of the door between the 34 and 48-inch range for placing the door handle. Doors can be purchased as pre-hung or slab. Pre-hung doors come with hinges already attached to a frame, and have a hole already bored for the door handle. Slab doors do not have hinges installed, and may or may not, have a hole already bored for the door handle. Exterior doors require three hinges, while interior doors typically only need two. For slab door hinge installation, you will need to cut the mortises with a router or a chisel. The bottom spacing should be 11 inches. This is the distance from the bottom of the door, to the bottom of the first hinge. The head spacing should be 7 inches. This is the distance from the top of the door, to the top of the hinge closest to the top of the door. The two hinges on an interior door, should be placed above the bottom spacing mark, and below the head spacing mark. The size of a standard door hinge for interior doors, is 3 and a half inches. For exterior doors, the standard hinge size is, 4 inches. The hinge spacing for the three hinges on an exterior door, will be 29 inches. This is measured from the top of the hinge, to the top of the next hinge. The options for the style of a door can be divided into two categories, flush or panel. Flush doors have a uniform smooth surface, while panel doors can come in a variety of styles. Panel style doors have vertical styles and mullions, with horizontal rails, and may or may not contain molding surrounding each panel. The number of panels, can range from two, to the common six panels, or even more. For the best finish, you can spray the door with an airless sprayer at low pressure, using a fine finish tip with a 4-inch fan, or you can use an HVLP sprayer. For pre-hung doors, simply remove the hinge pins, mask the hinges, and lay the door on a flat surface for spraying. For existing doors, you will also remove the door knob. Another option, is to paint the doors manually, without removing the hung door. This can be done with just a brush, or a brush and a 4-inch mini roller. First, you will need to mask your hinges and the door knob, and cover the floor with paper or a drop cloth. For a panel door, use your brush to start painting the molding surrounding the panels. You can start at the bottom or top, and work your way up or down. First, dab your brush into the corner, then stroke your brush evenly back and forth across the molding. Watch for drips from your corners, and lightly brush them out. Once you have completed all of the panel molding, use a brush, or the mini roller to paint the panels. Brush with even vertical strokes, or roll evenly, without applying too much pressure, so that you don't leave a buildup at the edge of the roller application. Next, paint the vertical mullion, and horizontal styles, between the panels. Brush or roll evenly in the direction of each section, without leaving brush or roller marks in the adjacent sections. As you paint the sections that contain the door handle, first brush around the door handle, without using too much paint, and then, put the tip of your brush close to the door handle, and pull your brush strokes away from the door handle, in the direction of the section you are painting. If you are using a roller, you can roll out the brush strokes, use light pressure, and don't use an excessive amount of paint. For flush doors, you can use a larger mini roller, roll in a vertical direction, the full length of the door, with slight overlapping passes, until the door surface is completely covered. Be sure to use a roll cover, made of velour, or foam, that is meant for a smooth surface. 
a lamb's wool roll cover with a quarter inch nap or larger, will leave the surface uneven. After an hour or so, the paint should be dry. Now, you can remove your masking tape. Your door should look professional. Now, you can close your door. Please subscribe. Swell of vision.